Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be watching a video of Sarah Geronimo and Yen Constantino reviving the song Paraiso shown on Asap Natin To more than a month ago. It took me a while to get to this video due to the many backlogs on my list of things to do. But finally, here we are. But before we dive into it, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore Q. Likewise, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. The full mechanics are provided in the link right above. Check it out. This is a 90s song by the group Smoky Mountain. Paraiso is a Filipino word which directly translates to paradise. It is a very meaningful song. The lyrics painting a less than perfect picture of reality, contradicting the title paradise. It's a call for everyone to take care of our environment. It has been covered multiple times by various artists and choral groups all over the world. So if you guys are ready, let's start. By the way, if you want to watch the video uninterrupted without my comments, you may visit the link in my description box. Also, I had to superimpose some effects to avoid the video from being taken down. So hope you guys understand. Support OPM. Save Mother Earth. Fight COVID-19, help frontliners, stay at home, pray for peace. Return to a land of paradise, please retire with There's almost like a, a childlike quality in her voice, very, very innocent. Uh, the low notes I've heard from her in uh, the past videos are quite full, heavy in weight, which is nice. But here she is giving us uh, a different texture, a different weight, which is refreshing for me. Let's continue. I love how expressive she is when she sings. Also the way uh, she delivered, what a joy. Meaning, it would be such a joy if only. You know, it's easy to convey happiness or sadness in a song, but it is not as easy to convey hopefulness. And that's the vibe I'm getting from her so far. Very nice. It's amazing how two people can sing the same melody in the same pitch, yet sound totally different. While Sarah's voice here sounds light as air, uh, Yang's voice is more earthy. I'm not sure if it makes sense to you guys, but that's how I'll describe their voices. One is light as air, one is more earthy. Anyways, let's continue. It actually takes a lot to make the simple parts of any song sound impressive. 
because you are not showing off by um, belting or by doing any vocal acrobatics. That said, the singers have to be able to let their feelings flow, uh, allowing their listeners to feel the song. And sometimes uh, the simplicity of a song makes the slightest mistakes more noticeable, especially with such light accompaniment. That said, they're doing really, really great. Many empty cans were all I have. What a joy! I never fight to take someone else's coins and live with feel like the rest of the boys. Yang sounds amazing as well. I know she is more known as a rock artist. That's her image. But for her to be able to uh, sing songs like this shows us her flexibility as an artist. Moving on. Oh gosh, they sound so good together. They sound heavenly. The way the soprano and alto came together very, very nicely. Perfectly pristine. Moving on. That if I could see a single bird, what a joy. This tired and hungry land could expect some truth and hope and respect from the rest. I don't think this has the same vocal arrangement as the Smoky Mountain version, the original one, uh, but I'm not very sure since I haven't heard it for quite some time. But I love how this sounds so simple, yet so beautiful and heartfelt. I just found the right definition as I was listening to the violinists. This version sounds very, very pure. I could almost see in my head a clean stream running through a spring forest. It's very, very calming and it's very, very nice. And if empty cans were all I have, what a joy! Even if Sarah is already belting here, it still sounds very, very well controlled. She is still blending very, very well with Yang's second voice. I wonder how they rehearsed this, because the perfection of their delivery makes me think that they must have had a lot of practice prior to this, which is highly improbable due to the lockdown. And if you guys have tried rehearsing with another person virtually, it's almost next to impossible to be in sync with each other timing-wise. Let's continue. Such control from both of them. It's not easy to hold back in a song while you are trying to uh, uh, deliver emotions because it's almost always easier to just exaggerate 
and go over the top. Even the way both of them sang, Help Me Make a Stand, was just so effective in conveying the need to help, the desperation. Beautiful. Beautiful dynamics, very subtle, yet very effective. And I am truly amazed at how in sync they are with each other. It's almost like they're singing together in one room. Let's continue. But I That head voice is just too heavenly. Actually, Sarah reminds me of a Disney princess, the way she delivered her parts. And sometimes she reminds me of an angel. I love how they are singing this song without any unnecessary riffs, runs, just the basic way of singing, which almost nobody does anymore nowadays. Just pure tones. I'm also impressed with how Yang was able to uh, deliver her solo part with a strong voice at the same time without sounding hard. The emotions are still there. And again, the very subtle change in dynamics after Yang's uh, solo part. Very good. I like this version. I can listen to it over and over again. I think they were able to preserve the integrity of the song, getting the message across without adding any weird stuff. Simplicity with a heart. Sometimes we do need songs like this to cleanse our souls. So if you guys love this version as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell me your thoughts down below. With that, thank you all for watching. And please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max2. Stay safe and happy everyone. Looking forward to see you guys again in my next episode.